Well, well, well. We have finally made it over to the West Point Mansions. It only took four days as well. Anyways, welcome back everyone to the No Arms Challenge. Joined by Handy Harry, surviving for four days, seven hours, killing 140 zombies. That is actually so much, holy hell. But yeah, we finally made it over to our new oasis, to where I'm gonna be spending my either first week or first month here. It really depends on, you know, when these legs heal up. And I think right now, we're just gonna clear out one mansion, saving the other two for the next few days here. Because it is 4.30 p.m., it's getting late, and with my current speed, we won't be able to clear out all three of them before it gets extremely dark and dangerous. So, let's go grab our car, pulling right on in so I can clear this out very slowly but very cautiously. I'm not really expecting too many zombies in here, but you can get pretty unlucky and have a party event spawn in one of these, and when that happens, these mansions become absolute sardine cans. So far though, I don't hear anything. We'll give it a once over, check out loot, and then we can sleep for the rest of the day. So, is anyone in here, or is it just me? Oh my, oh, okay, that was just, ooh, there's two of them in there. Okay, that was, that was even more surprising than the last thing. What the actual hell? Get back in the closet. I'm gonna deal with you, and then deal with you after. Okay, so we're, <laughs> so there definitely was a couple of zombies. I think that's gonna be it for this place here. And before I do anything else, I don't hear any zombies. We're gonna go watch some Life and Living, because we have only survived four days so far, and that means a lot of the TV broadcasts are still going to be on air. Please tell me this- okay, this house has a TV. They're normal. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, what we can do is turn it on and play Life and Living while we wait for our limbs to uh, heal up. Just give me 20 minutes here. Turning it to the channel and bata. Boom! We can get some experience real easy. And this is probably what I'm gonna do for the majority of the week. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna loot those homes. I'm just gonna sit in here, eat my entire fresh ham, and just watch television. It don't get much better than this, I'll tell you that much. Give me that XP. Sadly, the XP wasn't enough to level me up. That's fine, because we can go check out the rest of this home, maybe drop off some of our food, and then... It's gonna be a lot of this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I can grab this television so I can put it upstairs and I won't have to move around as often. Can I pick this up? Oh, cool, I can. Awesome. Let's go drop it down uh, upstairs. Oh, wait, there's actually a television already up here. Damn, these people are living pretty lofty. Well, it, it would've hurt to have two of them, I guess. You know, double the, double the entertainment value. Pop that bad boy down. Is it already on Life and Living? It is, cool. Well, it's only 8 p.m. Let's go check out this house, see if there's any more food for me to take. And while we're at it, I am going to drop off our duffel bag here so I can just grab snacks whenever I need to. Let's go see what this place has to offer now. We have headphones, sneakers, pants, used underwear with a suitcase, duct tape, rope, and a hand torch, some random bathroom supplies, a small electronical event which boasts another screwdriver, clothing, a toolbox with a saw, hammers and screwdrivers, a box of nails which is gonna help me out quite a bit, and lastly we have ourselves a lot of food. I'm gonna take this upstairs with me and we can munch on it for the next few days. Okay, now it's time to really batten down the hatches. I'll see if I can go through the perishable stuff first, but you know, I'm not really bothered about it. Damn, there's actually a lot in here. I'll take the lighter, the cigarettes, I don't really smoke, but, I mean, anything to help me, you know, take away a little bit of pain. It seems like this is gonna be my life for a little bit. Just sitting in front of a television, just munching on some random food for my duffel bag, and waiting for everything to blow right on over. It's really not gonna be a good life, but it should be enough to help me survive and further my goal of fixing up my arms. Let's go check to see how our legs are doing, and as soon as we're done with that, we can go grab some sleep, and we can begin the true vegetation. Oh, oh, no way, hold on here. Let's see what we got. I think we might have healed up all of our broken limbs. Let's remove all of these splints and see if that is the case. 
Oh, no way. I don't even gotta wait a full week. That right there is a fully healed up set of legs. I can run, I can jump, I can sprint, I can do everything a boy could ever want. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling extremely good about that. How are my arms doing? Uh, could, could, could be better, but that can change very quickly. But what matters is that we got our legs back, which means I can pull off some more risky stunts without getting, you know, ripped apart by zombies. I'm still gonna sleep though, and I will talk to all of you tomorrow. After I take my painkillers, of course, I am still in copious amounts of pain. Anyways, welcome to day five. If you're wondering if my plans have changed any bit, they haven't. I'm still gonna veg out in front of the television, but that does change up what I can do. And that is going to be focusing on my arms today, right? We got our legs healed up, which was the main problem, because with the broken legs, you really can't move too far. And now that we have that, my plan right now, while I'm waiting for the next uh, show to arrive, is to rip up... Please tell me I can rip up clothing so I can make a surgeon kit to speed up my healing process. Yeah, that's gonna be the plan at least. We can grab these socks and we should be able to rip them up and have a chance of getting a uh, thread from them. But before that, I'm gonna sit in front of the television getting one more cooking show in so I have as much knowledge as possible. Now it's time to roll the dice on whether I get any thread from this. This is going to take a few hours. <laughs> it seems like we've come to a bit of an impasse. I have looted every single piece of clothing, ripped it up, and we still only have a single unit of thread to show for it. So instead of just chilling in here for the rest of the day, I am going to have to move out in hopes of getting that extra thread. Because as nice as the XP is, I would really like to fix up my arms next to where they're not constantly infected and bleeding, you know, stumps. So it's time to take the hour-long process of picking up my duffel bag, emptying it out, so I can go head out and loot a little bit more. Okay, there we are. That gives us an extra 10 kilos of weight in our duffel bag, so we are ready to loot the mansions. Well, the other mansions, I guess. What I'm really hoping for is that one of these bathrooms has either A, an entire thing of thread, or B, a sewing kit with thread inside. We might not find it, and at the very least, we could, you know, kill more zombies to get the small chance of ripping up some thread from their dead bodies. Okay, front door is locked. That's no problem for handy here. I actually don't got it. What about this window? There we are. We're in. We'll clear it out first and then loot after. Oh, hello there, ma'am. Where the hell were you? Uh, oh, that's, that's a little bit terrifying. I opened every single door, so I guess she was just hiding behind a random corner waiting to jump me. But boom, it's cleared out now. We got food in the fridge, just barely anything. Matter of fact, we should probably go grab some food. I am absolutely famished. I'll help myself to a fresh slice of ham, and while we're eating this ham, we can, you know, look around a bit. We got some honey, chocolate, pancakes, frying pans... A sewing kit with a spool of thread. That is exactly what I needed. I need to grab this right now. Stop eating the ham. That thread is going to help me out tremendously. Also the needle as well, that's always helpful. And the scissors. Could always use that to chop up some nice leather strips. I'm actually so damn excited that we got a sewing kit this early on, because the first real part of progression for me isn't even finding the magazine for the prosthetic, it's healing it up, right? Because I can't slap on a prosthetic on something that is still pretty fresh of a wound. So let's go craft up ourselves the improvised surgeon kit, using a single nail and three units of thread. I really don't recommend this in real life because, you know, sticking a nail in my, uh, in my limbs sounds like an easy way to get sepsis, infection, and die, but thankfully, we don't have to worry about that, so let's craft it up, and we can finally fix up these arms. 
It's time to operate. It's gonna take a few hours, so I'm actually gonna run all the way back to my house so we can do that under the comfort of my television. Or even better yet, we'll just turn the television on in here and solve two birds with one stone. Oh man, I'm real smart today. Okay, let's go fix up our arms. There's one. And there's, oh wait, hold on, I need to make another for each limb. It's a good thing I got an entire spool then. Operating on my last limb here. Bada boom. We leveled up first aid, and we were able to catch, what is it? I think it's just a infomercial. No, it's exposure survival, awesome. So not only are we leveling up medical, but we're leveling up trapping. Damn, dude, we are absolutely cruising through the skills today. We already have a level one in trapping, a level three in first aid, almost three in carpentry, three in short blunt, one in cooking. But boom, let's go check our arms right now. It's uh, almost citrusized. Okay, if you guys don't know, citrusized is the status that you get when you can actually put prosthetics on your arm. So we are pretty close. I'll give it like a few more days of healing and we should be able to reach that point. The only thing I will do now is loot everything here, go to sleep, and then finish off everything tomorrow, or I'm just gonna finish off looting it all today. You know what, why the hell not? I'm gonna go munch on this ham and we'll see if there's anything cool than just, you know, traditional foodstuffs within these cupboards. Like maybe a prosthetics magazine across the corner. I, I I severely doubt it, but it'd be it'd be hype as hell. Instead, we got a T-shirt, an electric guitar, some painkillers and a pipe wrench, a flute, some more instruments. Ugh, oh, that ham really hits the spot. And with that finished ham, we have finished off looting this entire place, which leaves one last home right up there. I think we should be able to clear it out in no time at all which is what we're gonna do. I'll tell you one thing, these homeowners ain't gonna know what hit them. Yeah, nice try, idiot. Who else is up here? Nobody else. It was just that one zombie. I feel kind of bad for coming in swinging, but they were asking for it, if you ask me. Now it's time to reap the rewards. We got leather gloves, which are completely useless. Sleeping tablets, which are a little less useless. Uh, bandages, painkillers, I'll always take some bandages. We also got a formal shirt, more clothing, crossword magazines, a hand torch with a fanny pack. I will take the fanny pack, that's pretty hype, after I'm done engorging myself on this pie. Just give me another 30 minutes, bada boom. Looking good, Harry, looking good. On top of that, we got more adhesive bandages, sheets, a baseball bat, which would be a perfect weapon if I could use weapons, crossword mags, no prosthetic magazines, matches, a first aid kit with just bandages. You, you really know how to get my hopes up, game. Some more empty notebooks, a lumberjack shirt, light bulbs, magazines and newspapers, cooking volumes, even more cooking volumes with mechanics, farming, electrician, and just books in general, fishing tackle. Oh man, that'd be nice if I could go fishing right now. Another box of nails, wood glue planks. Those planks are actually pretty awesome because I won't be able to chop down trees in the future, which kind of makes things complicated because I need planks to craft up a wooden hand, and if I recall correctly, I need like three. So, as crazy as this sounds, I'm going to mark this place down as having two planks that I might have to use later. I, I, I doubt I will need this information, but it might save my life. So we are gonna mark down two planks, or, or planax, I guess. It might be helpful. We'll probably find some more planks at like a hardware store, a warehouse, but hey, you know what? It doesn't hurt to be a little bit cautious. That does seem to be it though. I mean, we have food, it's pretty generic. Okay, cool. We have looted everything here and instead of heading out, I'm going to wait for another good reason. 
The chopper event still hasn't hit, and I would like for that to run its course. The same with the television program, so now is the actual time that I'm just gonna, you know, veg out for a bit. So, it is time to sit down and hibernate for a few days to when the coast is a bit more clear. I will see all of you till then. Gaining experience on the way. Speak of the devil. If you guys hear that in the distance, that is what we were trying to escape. That's the chopper event. If you guys don't know what the chopper event is, it is an event that draws a whole bunch of zombies to your location, which would be a problem if we didn't live, you know, in the middle of nowhere, so it doesn't really affect me, but if I was still in Riverside, it would have been a death sentence, even if we would have prepared by barricading the home and stuff like that. Sometimes it's very tame, but other times it can send a horde right down your throat, and those times aren't pleasant. But boom! Andy Harry has went out and achieved every goal I had in mind. We have fixed up our legs, we have survived the chopper event, and more importantly, we have even fixed up our arms with our right forearm being amputated and healed, which allows me to equip prosthesis when I get them. Yeah, 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 we are so back. The only thing that's holding me back now is the fact that we don't have the proper healing magazines. So, I think we're going to spend the rest of the nine days here for the TV broadcasts, getting as much experience as possible. But as soon as those TV shows run their course, I'm going to head all the way back to Riverside-ish. Because I am going to take the road down here, cutting through and heading down towards Fallis Lake. And then after that... The... Uh, I don't know what town this place is. I just like to call it the Military Surplus Town, because both of them have clinics that I would love to visit, and I think they shouldn't be armored, so I won't have to worry about busting down any doors. Also, if you're wondering how I'm gonna deal with the zombie horde, I do have a few dubious ideas, but it might not work out too well, judging on how rare lumber will be. But there is one good horde clearing method that I can use, even without arms. You could probably guess what it is, but we'll save that for another day. We still have another three days to sit through, so we are not going to be moving much at all. I am going to go grab some extra food while the chopper event is running though, as I'm not too bothered by it being out right now, because, you know, I'm pretty damn safe out here. But we can go stockpile a whole bunch of food, and I will tell you if anything else happens. For now, Handy Harry is pretty much in the clear. And in all honesty, Handy deserves a vacation. <laughs> I mean, it's not a good vacation, but it sure as hell beats killing 140 zombies with your bloodied, or not bloodied stumps anymore, and your feet. It's actually so cool that your citrusized arms, like, don't have the bloody stump on it anymore. That right there is just a normal stump. Oh man, I love progression like that. Soon we're gonna be looking like a Kenshi character. <laughs> All it takes is a little bit of time and knowledge. Okay, it's time to speed through this for real this time. Well, everyone, this is the last cooking show we will probably ever see. It's 6 p.m., or 6 a.m., sorry. And now we have survived for 8 days and 21 hours. Oh, and it's already over. Okay, that's gonna be it for the television broadcasts. And I will say, quite a few cool things have happened to me. For one, if you look at my arms, they have completely healed up, and they are now citrusized. Number two, we got a new perk called Insensitive to Pain, and I think the reason why we got that is because we were, you know, quite literally living in pain for the longest time. So I guess Handy Harry just kind of got used to the uh, terminal amount of injuries. On top of that, we have also survived for 8 days, 21 hours, just about our ninth day. And I also had figured out a pretty good plan with our planks, right? Instead of just, hold on here, give me one second, one second, two seconds, three seconds. Instead of just marking a note on the two planks that we have here, I thought, why the hell just to not bring it with us? I mean, we have a car, and sure, we can't refill it yet, but we sure as hell can use it to transport lumber. And it beats coming all the way back here and using up gasoline, precious, precious gasoline, to grab two measly planks. 
So after we grab that, it is finally time to head out and drive on down to Phallus Lake, a beautiful town. I am a little bit worried about the zombie population as the peak amount of zombies is only going to get higher until the 28th day. So I don't really know what to expect. I'm hoping it's going to be, you know, pretty hunky dory, but I am prepared for the worst. Worst case scenario, I can also just slowly kill them one by one. It'll take actual eons, but it is, but it is reliable, right? Oh, also, another thing I wanted to do was actually shave my beard. We got ourselves a bit of a chin strap here from surviving for so long, but we want to keep that clean shaven. Also, because it's... Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we can't shave our beard because we, we, we don't have the arms to chop, you know, our beard hairs off with. That was... Yeah, what was I expecting, you know? I'm going to pick it back up very embarrassed, and we'll just keep the beard... On. I was about to say I find it really funny of like having to shave myself with like a very sharp you know pair of scissors but we can't even be afforded that much <laughs> okay drink up the soda because as soon as we're done with that it's time to head out oh of course after I drop off the planks here I also went ahead and dropped off all of my extra gas station food in here as well so we do have a little bit of emergency rations for the road bada boom both planks are in I am really hoping we find ourselves the beginner prosthetics magazine in this next you know episode but we are going to save this for next episode it was a bit of a slow episode this one at least but I like a bit of a break, especially with how much we had to deal with in the first three. Anyways, I am going to end it off here. If you guys have liked this episode, if you guys liked this, if you guys liked this, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. As next time is going to be a little bit more high octane. I presume anyways. We don't know how it'll go until we get there. Anyways, peace the hell out everyone.